flow again, uh, right triangle trigonometry, except now we're working with a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Here's the general, general formula, pardon me, x, x, x root 2. And if you'll help, use this. So Katoa, where the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do these really quickly in 45 degrees. Uh, any uh, interval of it, I guess, uh, you know, any multiplier of it can work the same way. Pretty cool. Um, well, not exactly, actually, not on the 90 degrees and the 0 degrees and 180, but like 135, 225. I'm going too far there. Uh, let me just continue with what I'm supposed to be doing here. So I want to figure out all the functions, or sorry, all the values of the functions. So I've got sine 45, cosine 45, tangent 45, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And basically what I'm trying to say is memorize the sine, cosine, and tangent, but if you have a good grasp of co-functions, which most people actually don't, and you have a good grasp of reciprocals, not so bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sine of 45 degrees. And people are going to say, well, which 45 degrees do you take? It doesn't matter. Both 45 degrees are the same. It's the beauty of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we'll do this one. And basically, the um, um, sine of 45 degrees, pardon me, is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is x over x root 2, which is 1 over root 2 when the x's cancel, multiplied by square root 2 in the denominator and the numerator, rationalize, to rationalize the denominator. And what I basically have is root 2 over 2. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2, 1 times root 2 is that. I'm going to stop there for a moment, because you can continue doing that method, or you can have a good grasp of co-functions and reciprocal functions, and this is basically what I mean. Uh, sine of 45 degrees, its co-function is the cosine. Now, what, met, what angle is complementary to 45 degrees? It's 45 degrees. Without even trying, I already know that the cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, because these are co-functions, and that's its complementary angle. Bam! Without even doing any work whatsoever. Uh, let's do the tangent of 45 degrees. That's the opposite over the adjacent, which is x over x, which is 1. Finito. Done. Let's do the cotangent of 45 degrees. This is its co-function, tangent and cotangent. This is its complementary angle. It's 1. Or, you take the reciprocal if the angles are the same, well, the reciprocal of 1 is still just 1. Again, you can check this out. If you don't like this method, don't do this method. You know, if you don't like it, figuring out uh, co-functions and reciprocals, don't. Just do adjacent over opposite. That's it. Just uh, do what I showed you before. It's just a more sophisticated way of doing it. Uh, let's do the secant of 45 degrees. And the secant of 45 degrees is the reciprocal of the cosine of 45 degrees. And when I did that, it was uh, 1 over root 2. That was cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2 before I do my magic. Before you even do anything, just flip 1 over root 2. It's root 2 over 1. There you go. Done. Finito. Cosecant is the co-function of the secant, and 45 is complementary to 45, so I already know that it's root 2 without doing any work whatsoever. That's pretty much it. Very sophisticated way to do it. But you could always just use Sokotoa, and then if you want to find the cosecant, you know, do hypotenuse over opposite. The secant is... Uh, hypotenuse over adjacent, and the cotangent is adjacent over opposite. You can do that method, too. It's perfectly fine. Whatever way is easier for you. Just trying to show you something that's pretty cool. Um, that said, have a good day. Go.